Hello, 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 and welcome to ER Emotional Response Life Coaching with Ink Ivory. How are you this evening? Happy belated holidays. Um, I was dialoguing with you on Tuesday and saying whether I would record or not, but I chose not to and just really be present present with my family, present in the moment, present in laughter, and I think about the next moment. And the holidays can bring us back to the simple things, the things that make us tick as humans. Watch how I said that, the things that make us tick as humans, because we're moving in a very robotic way. Where we wake up in the morning, we log on. We go to bed, we log on. Throughout the day, we log on. And we are moving in such a systematic way, we're not even aware how robotic we have become. I posted a video on my Instagram page of society and how they're so lost in their phones that from driving to walking, they don't exist unless they're logged on. And the holidays bring us away from that systematic period, which makes me question, are they going to do away with holidays? Yes, Holidays are money making, but holidays also recenter us for those that haven't seen their loved ones in years and talk to them throughout the year. They have that chance at that moment. I know via text or phone call, it's people that I touch bases with during the holidays that I don't see or hear from throughout the year. And it's crazy how society has become now. As much as connected as we are digitally, we are disconnected in our social connections, our human contact. We are. We are. People... It used to be face-to-face contact was necessary. People call on the phone and be like, I'll talk to you when I see you. Then it was reduced to, okay, talk to me now. Since we're on the phone and the phone is unlimited, you're not paying for the minutes. Talk. Then when text messages came out, now people have become, have become, that sound a little more country when I say happy came, have become even less connected by dialogue and matters of the heart via text. And there's a danger in it. This is the danger before I get into the topic for tonight. The danger of texting a important, serious Or even a situation. You leave. Up to. The recipient. To add the tone. To add emphasis on certain words. And based on their perspective. And where they are. And their emotions. Things can get lost in translation. So, during the holidays, we come back to laughing together, not sending an LOL or a smiley face, hugging and touching, not sending hearts and high fives and thumbs ups. These are the things that happen during the holidays and the things that give us ever more reason to just stay even more connected to people. 
And though issues may arise when you are interacting with people for an extensive period of time, in some situations, situations are necessary so they can gain deeper understanding of you or vice versa, you can gain a deeper understanding of them. So, it's a good thing. It's a real good thing. So, happy belated holidays. Today was Black Friday. Who busts their pockets is none of my business. And who didn't bust their pockets is none of my business. These are the holidays. What someone has emphasis on because of the relationships they have in their life is their business. And what you have emphasis on is your business. That's why we can't walk around or why they went and spent X amount of dollars. You, it goes way deeper than what you see. Some people love languages, is gifts. So they express love through buying gifts. Some people love languages, acts of service. So cooking big feasts for their family and friends is self-therapy. So we have to be mindful. You have to be mindful. You have to be present. And you have to enjoy the moment for what it is. So I applaud applaud those that got a chance to spend the holidays and I applaud those that didn't get a chance to spend the holidays with their loved ones, but they got a chance to either work and make more money, have a day off where they could catch up on rest, however the case may be. I applaud and salute whatever your situation may be. Now, now those that are in unfortunate situations, I send comfort. I send comfort. Because it only takes a second for anyone life to change. And for those that are in unfortunate situations, I don't ever want them to feel sideline, marginalized. We are all given grace and mercy. And in unfortunate circumstances, people can label and mislabel things. Because like I say, All the time. There will come a time at the end of your life where you realize everything that you thought you was dead right on, some you was dead wrong on. And some things you was dead wrong, you thought you was dead wrong on, actually you was dead right on. But sometimes it takes to the end of your life. Tonight's topic is just a continuation of the holidays. And just talking about grief. Those under the sound of my voice that have lost loved ones. And this year has been very traumatic. My heart goes out to you. My heart goes out to you. Because it's during the holidays that you miss the people that you valued so much. You you can miss them through the years, but throughout the year, but it's during the holiday, extra emphasis is put on it. Mainly because the holidays is a time for people to come together. And just when they're supposed to come together, this person is not there. And so it weighs on everybody. And so those that are in mourning, 
those that are grieving, my heart goes out to you. It's okay. It is okay to be where you are right now emotionally. Mainly because of how much you valued that person. And it would be weird for you to value someone so much and then they pass away and you turn around and you just zap back to everyday life like nothing ever happened. No, you lost a portion of your heart when they passed. And so my heart goes out to you. It will be okay. It will be okay. It is okay to even set aside time to cry. For those that journal, it's okay to journal. For those that need someone to vent to, be wise in picking a person, but vent. Vent. And stress emphasis that the person that you're opening up to is just to vent. Not for them necessarily find a solution. Because there's no solution at this point. It's about adjusting. Life has hit you with the blow of death. And it's the blow of someone that meant a lot to you. Everybody has different ways of coping. Some people might be similar, but across the board, everyone has different ways of coping. So you want to be mindful of that. So number one, you could meet a person where they at. And number two, again, you don't alienate or marginalize anyone. Anyone. Depression hits. Overthinking hits. Self-destructing be habit habits resurface, and you have to catch yourself. You have to catch yourself. Yes, you are hurting because this person is not in your life anymore. However, you don't have to make it a goal for everyone to pay the price of them not being here. Because just like you're looking at them, there are people around you that's looking at you and hope that your life is preserved. So, be mindful. For those that know loved ones are going through mourning and grieving, check up on them a lot more than usual, especially during this day and time. This is the end of the year where suicide is high, depression is high. Call them, talk to them, check up on them. Meet them to go have lunch, go to a movie. Diversify their present experience so they're not dwelling on things for so long. The holidays is can be the most happiest and saddest part of the year at the same time. You could be happy that you see people, but then also sad that one person is not there. 